time for season two, episode two. Just before we get into it, just saying, I do stand by Wilhelm's revenge plot, whatever he's got against August because of everything that happened. Such a small amount of time has passed. He's going to be angry. He's very resentful. He's got a lot of pressure on him. But also, August let himself do those things. So there are repercussions. There are consequences. So I'm all for that. Just in case you thought I wasn't. I am. I do think Wilhelm needs to let out what's going on with him. And of course he's going to take it out of August. Because this person helped kind of take away something from him that was given him... A little bit of happiness and took him away from his brother's death and his royal duties but i've also noticed with august and sara they are intentionally creating moments there and i want you to look out for a very intentional narrative that they're trying to do with characters because i want to see if they really do do it and we'll see what goes on because there's simon marcus and now Wilhelm, like, it's going to get complicated. And they're not the only complication in terms of relationships and who likes who and who was with whom that is going to happen in the show. He does look so different with his hair cold. Yeah, you're going to have to talk to her. Also, she's doing her job. She can get in trouble if she doesn't say it. Because it felt like he moved on with Marcus, but again, there is clearly something between them still. It's different, yeah, see? They're genuinely being good friends, by the way. Wow! Oh my god, wait, you can go out and club. <laughs> She's interested in the cigarettes. Not even her birthday, just that. Let's get to vote. And she's only a year older than them. There's really not that much difference. But this, when she finds out, how is she going to react? Like, she might be okay with her being with August, but it's the fact that how it came about. These two actors really work well as a sibling. She's going to say things like this, like a better brand. Yeah, obviously people are going to get offended. She doesn't mean it. He likes you. Might as well. Um, you're saying it right in front of the sister. Oh, just hurry up and go. That's his own fault. You literally should be able to work with someone in this moment. Yeah, that made no sense. Like you're trying to actively ignore him and it, it's like, like you could still like it's sports. Like you're just playing right now. Ni har ingen rätt att vara på vår våning och ni får absolut inte använda våra duschar. I have yeah. Jag går och kör efter uppe. Du, alltså om ni missar någon mer får ni byta. They can replace him but what with you? Vita är perfekt. He's put it in their mind now. Uh, yeah, but han... Also, isn't that one of his really good friends? Du få fler röster, Just... Yeah, he's put it in his head. See, now he's, he's going to turn his friends against August. Here goes part of his plan. He's not stupid in how he plans these things. Even if he can be aggressive sometimes, he'll help. Eventually, they'll fall into some sort of ease with one another. True. <laughs> I mean, he was honest with him, but he's also a crown prince. There are things. 
Vill kronprinsen vara snäll och följa med? Ni kan ta med era saker. Because he didn't speak to the mom, I, I imagine. Det är en gång, det är bråttom. Det har varit en ära att ha er här på skolan. What? She's taken him out of the school? Vad fan är det som händer? Jag fattar ingenting. Drottningen skulle själv ha hämtat er om det inte vore för att hennes... Yeah, but you don't have a... I would kick off if I was him. Ringa och utfärda hot mot kungahuset utan att förstå att det får konsekvenser. What are you gonna do, mister? I don't, I don't have to do anything you say. Touch, come touch me and try and take my stuff. Kronprinsen kan bara packa med det viktigaste. I would punch this man in the face. I don't care. Just, just left hook him. Kronprinsen. Vi behöver skynda på här. We don't have to hurry anywhere. I'd love to see you try it. En helt dum idé att han åker hem. No, it helps you out. It's not why it helps you out. No, no. I want. I would want them both fired. I said I want you fired. I said I. I want your job gone. I want you terminated. Come to me for the whole school. Wilhelm, you must understand that it will be a reaction when you come in with hot. I do not like her. She is not a good parent. You have gone too far. Not really, he's expressing himself. No, you don't care about your child. You cannot, you cannot treat your child like this when they're suffering. She's, she's a terrible parent. Det skulle vara tjänstefel om jag inte agerar när du uttrycker det som du gjort det. She's... Kan inte du bara vara med... Yeah, right, right. can you just be snälla. his mother right now? But the fact that just because he made... Like, he, like, the fact that she was like, oh, we're gonna do all this, like, it's control, it's manipulation. Like, like I get the pressure, like, what he has to do is duty-wise. Jag vill inte plocka bort livvakterna. Nej, men det kan jag inte göra. No, get rid of her, we'll get a new security person. Det är mitt ute i skogen. Ska vi på riktigt inte prata med honom? Jag fattar inte du bara inte kan bry dig. He cares. Också efter det idag, hur kan du bara stänga av? Vadå inte bry mig? It's awkward, it's gonna be. Men därför hon kom för att hämta mig. Jag stod på mig. No, she came because she said you, you've made threats. And that she's gonna retaliate. Hon stöttade mig. Kan vi gå tillsammans? Jag tror inte det kommer att funka så här. Snälla, Ville. Vadå ni ska prata när du fyller 18? Like, yeah, I mean, listen to what your mom was saying. You feel that they support you so there, but... I can't be your... Hidden secret, yeah. I get that. Because it definitely feels like Simone don't cares for him. It's quite easy to, like, has quickly moved on, but we know it's going to get complicated. No, she hasn't. Is she a virgin? No, no, I'm not gonna. I like her. She's like, no. Sara, jag har inte legat med. Ja. Alltså inte en enda. Ja, that she's young. Det handlar ju liksom om kärlek. Det blir, alltså, love doesn't have to be about love. Ligger med en människa som man har känslor för, så blir det ju bättre. No, that's not true. You can sleep with someone you have no feelings for. Ah, uh, he, he did keep it. Is he gonna lay with it? Sniff it? Sniff it, there we go. So it, I mean, it's really gotta be hard. There's another guy who likes him. He like, there's someone... He likes someone and then there's the complicated... Uh-oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, is he wearing... Is he wearing the jumper again? Is he gonna have sex with him while wearing... Wilhelm's jumper? 
I mean, I can't deny that. I haven't done this. But that was that was before it was called Netflix. That was before Netflix existed. Wait, when did it, it exist? When when did it get popular? Action. Oh. Vad vill du säga? No, he wants action with you. Skräck, skräck. Nej. Really? I love Nej. horrors. Yo. There you go. Here we go. Crouch time. But. Jag vill inte hända bara för få ligga med. He's actually. Oh, I see what they're doing with Marcus. They are generally making him right now a really nice guy. Someone who actually seems to really like Simon. Mm. Also, see we what we. Wow, good on you. Especially at such a young age. It's just how I grew up. Like there would have been no stopping. <laughs> She's gonna. I mean, she would confront him. Oh what? Som berättade för Wilhelm en video. Wow. You're supposed to be her friend. Hon hittade något sätt att se att det var filmat från din telefon. Någonting med några döda pixlar. The fact that she's telling him? No, no. She's supposed to be your friend. Okay, is he into it now, Lawson? I guess he would be. It's a kiss. He does need to speak to someone. It's not just about Simon or your sexuality, it's also about losing your brother and all the stress you've got. Det är väl alla. Jag mår bra under omständigheterna. Och de omständigheterna de är, menar du? And I was going to say, what are they? Like he's, this psychiatrist knows the right way to talk to him. Han, um, jag, jag blev kronprins. Och... And the exchange. Och då räcker inte det, eller? Jo. En sak ska kronprinsen veta, och det är att allt som ni säger där inne... But it should be private. She has no right... Yeah, she has no right to know what he's saying. Things will change over time. Is it, this is a, a nice little plot moment they're setting up. <laughs> Out of the way. <laughs> See? So that he, Wilhelm, was put it in his head. They all want him out. See, they clearly don't like him. Even though I thought that was his best friend. Shh. <laughs> Oh, like, I wonder how he's going to take it when they throw him out, because clearly everyone wants him out. Yeah, we've got. Um, I'll check out Yebne by Paris. Is that right? He must yeah, sense something cold. strange. Yeah, no, look who it is. Ja. Hey. Eh, så ni ville skjuta lite leduver? Ja. Vem vill börja? Jag vill börja. Clear pigeons. Her family would be proud if she went into this, especially if she got into the Olympic team. Yeah, but it's a safe skate for 2018. Next one sits there. Another distraction for him. Go insta. As if he had gone further, so how far? For what did he do? We got to see he meant something, but I I can understand why he feels like this. If he's not the prefect, does that also mean he can't be on the Roman team? Like. Och vi har ju full förståelse för att dina studier upptar en stor del av din tid. Nej, no, uh, no, don't be fake. Be, Sista terminen är väldigt... Be honest that you, what you're unhappy about. Vi förtjänar de privilegier som traditionen bjuder. There we go. Nu There's the start Och det smittar av sig på hela skolans område. It's too late, they voted you out. Vi har redan röstat fram en ny prefekt. Och vem... Uh, you're supposed to be best vem, friend. Vem, om jag får fråga, vem... vem ska lyckan ska... Det... Otacksamma skituppdraget. You can't all put bow your heads. You all got in this together. You don't get to bow your heads and now act like oh this is tough. Sorry, stand up. You had you had attitude before. Fuck Peter. He has a right to speak like this. Men laget givetvis. But åsikter är värdefulla för oss. Yeah, that's why I was thinking so he is captain. He is going to not captain anymore. Vincent är nu perfekt. Grattis! 
Han kommer vara tusen gånger jävligare än vad jag någonsin har varit. Wait, because he's next to Alexander. I need you to tell Alexander what you did. No, 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 no. I need you to tell him. That's something I don't like about Wilhelm. Is don't like fine, get it out of August. Who cares? But Alexander has a right to know what you did. It's about the horns. I was waiting for her to say that because she loves the horns. See, they're genuinely being, they're actually genuinely being good friends towards her. Maybe. Four years per lag. It's some social fasoner, but so is it. Det vill säga ni andra också en chans även om ni suger dem. I, I feel like they're not gonna let August on the team just because what's going on? Det är mycket enkelt. Vi ska springa spåret runt. Right. Och and... de som kommer först i mål oh. kvalificerar sig laget. Ja, fast det där är ju typ 17 kilometer. Det där är inte sitt spår, det är en jävla stig. <laughs> Någon kan ju skada sig. Förlåt, jag trodde det var jag som var... Yeah, here goes the arrogance because he's got power now. So he's gonna talk to August where probably August talked to him like that. Jag sa... Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. I will have a nice and fine lead here. From it. Right. By the way, it's very clear, like, how many times they made these actors do it, but also the motive, because the one who plays August would clearly outrun all of them, because we've seen him train all the time, but I feel like something's going to happen to him. Dad, you're coming to my cup. Oh, hold that. Jag orkar inte. Spring du. Nej, Simon, kom igen. Nej, ärligt, jag förbryr dig. Jag, jag vill... It's too late. They're too far ahead. You gonna cheat? Bara som är att fuska. Ja, kom. Mm. I mean, fine. But if it gets you on the team, you better train. Hur känner du han? Marcus? Ja, han jobbar på sjukbollen. Jag var där igår med Felix. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awkward. Because we know who he was really waving at. Are you gonna lie? Uh, from Bersa. I all Bersa. Just... So he lied. Everyone's keeping secrets. Come here, okay, so he made it onto the team oh, as well. Man. Oh, they just lost out. Just lost out. Because they said only, he said only four. Oh, that was six. Hey, August. This is Jan Olof from Kungsholm. Oh, yeah. Who tries to get you. I want to tell you that the Queen of Hells is going to be in the middle of the game now on Tuesday. Oh, what's going to happen here? People need to stop going through people's phones. It's important that you come here. You want to have a meeting and a conversation with you. That was a good episode. So much happened. And nice little look into how everyone is doing this episode. We know Wilhelm and Felice hate August and Wilhelm is wanting to take him down. And see how easy it was? One little word to that guy, whatever his name is, I, I couldn't care less about what his name is. But how quickly everyone turned on August. And it was interesting because his reaction to that is very real and then notice only the blonde one was the only one to truly look august in the eyes because obviously he has the power but the rest bowed their heads and i hate people like that you had so much clearly to say when he wasn't in the room put your heads up and say yes we voted you out you've caused too much damage and things what are going on like, or whatever but it does show the intricate nature of people and how you can't really tell who's your friend, especially in this environment. I think it's very rare for people to really be friends in this. I think we have a few people here who are probably friends, but it's it's more environmentally why they are friends. The, the environment they're in is creating this bond. They wouldn't really be friends out of it. I'm glad the bodyguard's gone. So you put your hands on Wilhelm, you can go. The, the, the fact that the queen did that, Shows that she is trying to control Wilhelm and say, well, 
you are this young, you don't have a right, you made a threat, and this is what happens when you make a threat. But the thing is, there are so many things he could do. He could say, well, I can continue to make these threats. I can, I can go in and do a speech and tell everyone what you're doing. And that would be extremely bad. Like, there are a lot of things that he could also do, but he's also a kid. And Jan Olof, don't care for you. Do not care one bit for you. The Queen, to me, is a terrible, terrible mother. Yes, there are duties, and we get it. And he is, he is the next king. But she is not fit to be a mother. I don't see real love from her. I see her, which I think is very common, to put duty before your child, especially in that type of environment. But there was no care from her. It was all, I, I felt like she was spanking a child, which again, he is a kid, but I feel like he needs actual love. And now that Eric has gone, where does he actually get it from? Because we have not seen these parents or anyone around him really show that type of care for him. Not even like an aide or someone within the royal like family who's worked there for years to show him care. We've got the psychiatrist, the counsellor. I think that would be good to see Wilhelm open up. Like, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I am fine with him taking his revenge on August. It makes sense. Uh, but what I'm not a fan of is Alexander standing there and him not telling him. But that goes in with this episode of lies and half-truths and not telling people stuff and trying to skirt around the issue. But that is what bothers me about Wilhelm is you're so quick to do this to August, which, fine, he's done really bad things. And the first season was a good example of that. But then tell the person next to you what you did. Come on, tell them. I Maybe it'll come out later. But it is very, for me, very intentional what they're doing. Which is they are trying to make you feel sorry for August. They are now trying to make him more of... I'm not going to say the hero. Because technically there are no heroes in this. But... Wilhelm is the antagonist to August. He is more antagonistic and volatile this season. Whereas August, they're trying to paint in a nicer light. They're trying to make you sympathise with him. They're trying to make you go, oh, look what he's going through. And I'm like, okay. Like, we get it. Shift in power, shift in dynamics. But he still did really bad things. So sometimes you have to take a step back and remember what he's done. Uh, Sarah... Yeah, I'm not liking her this season at all. I get that she likes August, but Felice is supposed to be your your supposed best friend, someone you're close to, someone who's clearly goes out of her way at times to really help you. I, they, they are distant in some ways, and you can feel the breakup already of their friendship with things going on, um, not just money-wise, but you know, not telling each other stuff and just a little bit of awkwardness. But yeah. Zara goes straight to August and telling him this. Now, I know she said you have an option. You come forward or they will. But I'm just not liking what she's doing. To me, she's very sneaky. And I get that she wants to shift away from being viewed as a normie. Someone who doesn't have the money that everyone else has. But she, unfortunately, it's not making her, for me, likeable. It's doing the opposite. But she's a very well-written character and really, really well acted. But it's just in these moments, I'm like, okay, let's see if we can have a moment where, for me, she's redeemable. And there are still four episodes to go. So there's a lot they can do with her character. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, August getting that call. I don't know if they're going to say you're going to have to come out and tell everyone what you did. There, there are consequences to what he did. I don't know. But I guess we'll find out in the next episode. That just so much. Uh, Marcus, the, him meeting Wilhelm. And he, I, I think he could tell he wasn't really engaging with him. And he didn't really like Marcus. But they are also painting Marcus to be, right now, it seems, a very genuine nice guy. He's not trying to pressure Simon. He just likes him, wants to go on dates, wants to date him. And... So that's what's going to make it hard for audiences when they watch this because they're going to be watching Marcus do these nice things and then Wilhelm do what he does and go through what he's going through. But then they put moments where you see Simon take his jumper and he's wearing it and he's sniffing it and he's playing music in it. And I think he went to Marcus's house. 
with it on, which is nah. But we're seeing now the struggle with Simon and his thoughts and feelings. But again, it is a short period of time that you know they went from season one to season two. And teenagers go through emotions, I think, very quickly. Like I think teenagers in my book from when I was one can get over relationships and people very quickly. And something else that someone informed me about that I didn't know about, and I'm really finding out now that uh, Simon and Sara wouldn't have paid to get into the school, which I think in the UK, public schools, you don't pay unless you're paying for school lunches and food like that, which we've seen them, them do. But private school boarding schools, you do pay for. So it's interesting that you don't in Sweden. I, to me, that's a great thing. It opens up diversity in people, but... It is always interesting you relate that also to just uh, Sarah and her personality change. Strong episode though. I, I think it did a really good job in showing just a, a shift in a lot of things. 